I'm so excited. Tonight I'm going to show you a whole new technique I've never showed you before. But before we get started with that, I want to show you some of the things that came out of the kiln. <laughs> and Gambria was waiting. <laughs> um, Sheila's here. Cambria's here. Hello, hello. I want to show you some of these hearts. Look at this. Just incredibly beautiful. These came out so pretty. And some of the things that I'm taking to France, like this one is kind of egg-shaped, almost. Hopefully you can see it. Um, <clears throat> this one actually hangs. <laughs> I'm just taking different things that hopefully people will like. Come on in here and sit down. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, like an Easter egg. But beautiful, beautiful hearts. But not everybody likes hearts. Not everybody's into that. And I'm taking some little sizes, some big sizes, um, and just going to let people pick out what they like. I'm excited. This one has, I love this one. This one has a bubble, a bubble trapped in it. It's bubble trapped deep enough that it can't break. <laughs> Angela, thank you for the rose. So um, I'm going to show you the rest of these quick and then we're going to get started. I have the kiln firing just now, loaded up with more hearts to go to France. And I did make a TikTok about these, but I don't think I showed all of them that I have just yet. I don't think I showed all of them. And I want to show them that. So I have this bit to put more things in. See, some of them are little. Some of them are little and some of them are quite big. So they can pick out <clears throat> which they like. And I need to contact the chateau and see how many people work there because I want to make sure, hey Sandra and PA, I want to make sure that I have enough for the, the staff that work at the Chateau too. So it is getting so close. And yesterday I went into the doctor um, just to make sure I didn't have an ear infection because since my cold, flu, whatever it was, thank you for the heart me. Since that happened, this ear has been like, you know, popping and whatnot. And something bizarre happened at the doctor. Maybe somebody knows what this is. I love how that one looks. That one has like cherry blossoms in it. Um, but, um, so, you know that thing they put in your ear to look? This ear is totally fine. This ear is not affected. So he started by putting the thing in this ear. Well, he's like holding my ear, holding my ear, pushes that thing in, and he pushed it so far in, it hurt, and it felt like it like tore something. And now this, it's not my imagination. This ear's hot and hurt and hurts. So I might have to go into the doctor I don't want to go back there, and I don't know where to go. I might have to go to the ER tomorrow if it doesn't feel better. I'm just scared that he punctured something in there. Um, and he he knew that he had hurt me because, like, I jumped. I didn't scream or anything. But he said, oh, your ears are really flexible, <laughs> which was random. And, and then when he came over here to this ear, which is the blocked ear, um, he said, I won't put this in so deep. Don't worry. Because I must have been like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I have no poker face. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't, I don't, I'm not sick at all. Um, I just, this ear has been blocked and I just didn't want to get on a plane. I don't have an ear infection. And I just don't want to get on a plane with, I didn't want to get on a plane with an ear infection, but now I'm going to get on a plane with whatever, I don't know what he did. Is it possible? You know that thing they look in your ear with? It like stuck in really far, hurt, and it felt like it tore something. So other than that, I'm perfect. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make some cute things. Um... So a lot of my prep that I do for making fused glass, you don't, I just never show it. I don't know why. But I'm going to do some prep tonight. Put you up about, oh, that high is great. So I have, let's start with this. 
I have these paper punches. Hopefully it's just irritated Tammy. Um, yeah, he, it was really, it was, it was rough. <laughs> it was rough. And I don't think I'm a baby. Maybe I am a baby. I don't know. So, um, <laughs> so this is a dolphin. <laughs> I'm going to take, this is kiln paper. I'm going to put this kiln paper in here. And I'm going to put the kiln paper in. I'm going to punch out a dolphin. Oh, this is a great size. So this little dolphin, oh, <laughs> this little dolphin is kiln paper. And as long as I don't, um, like, as long as I put it in with a piece of glass, if I put the dolphin in a piece of glass and then put another piece of glass on top, it won't burn away in the kiln. So what I'm going to do just now, I'll put this down in here. I'm going to punch a couple of these out of the kiln paper. And these are just little paper punches. These are so cute to use in the fused glass stuff. So you could put them in and you could let them white. We're gonna put them in and paint them. <laughs> we're gonna paint these with, um, we're gonna paint these with glass paint. That is, our glass paint is ground up. Our Glass paint's ground up glass. So like, where's my little guys? Oh, here. These, these are little frogs that I had punched out with paper. And um, I painted them. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. Tammy yeah, I mean, just started watching. Yay! Happy you're here. Honey, I was telling them how I got poked in the ear. Mm. My ear hurts. <clears throat> and uh, Martin, would you feel it? It feels like it's hot to me. Does it? But... It feels warm. I hope he didn't do. do any damage. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, so I have this turquoise point paint. Honey, how many steps today no, after you? Morton had a big old walk. So I'm gonna take these now. And this this paint is just powdered glass, ground glass. So 9,419 steps. Wow. I was with the chain. It was funny though, I was running the chainsaw cutting firewood, and my Fitbit tells me I was mountain biking for 45 minutes. <laughs> That's funny. The other day I was doing something with the chainsaw and it said I was, what was it it said I was doing? It wasn't, well, I was, uh, I was doing sports for an hour. <laughs> I'm going to take, this is turquoise blue. And I, I just remembered something I want to do here. I'm going to take this and put on a piece of paper because I like to use all these little bits and scraps. Um, I went to the doctor yesterday to make sure this ear wasn't infected and the doctor stuck the thing in to look at my ear and he stuck it in really far, poked something and it hurt. And now you know, have a third it hurts. Thing. Do I what? I thought you had three of the things and you were able to oh, balance no, it This is great, this is good. I think everybody can see that. Hi there. Is that Stephanie? It says. I can't read the name. So I'm going to take this turquoise blue and I'm going to put it on our little on our little dolphin. Only I'm going to put it on both sides. And I know dolphins are kind of gray. This one's going to be turquoise blue. I'm going to take another dolphin, <laughs> put them together, 
and just sort of wiggle it around. And this is kind of behind the scenes what I do to prep for doing fused glass. I'm gonna let a little bit of it white maybe. <clears throat> maybe, maybe. How are you? Happy Friday. Did you have a beautiful sunset where you are? We had a beautiful one, didn't we, honey? Mm -hmm. The sky was so gorgeous. Now this stuff dries quick. Honey, tell them how we make this paint. It's powdered glass mixed with uh, aloe vera. And how do we get the powdered glass? We make frit using a light box, a adapted uh, bullet machine. As we put a stainless steel sheet around the inside of the bullet catcher so that the glass wouldn't grind out the plastic. And uh, it breaks the glass into small pieces. Then we sieve the glass through. It's almost like being at the flour mill. You take the glass and put it through a set of sieves from coarse to fine, and you get coarse pieces down to like powder. Thanks, and you separate it out in the powders, what you use to make the paint, and you get coarse for it. Uh, different grades of frit for depending on what you're doing. They call they call the ground glass frit. Pardon me. Snowed today and cloudy. Couldn't see the sunset. Oh. Yeah, these are gonna be so cute. These little these little guys are great <clears> if <throat> I make like a little um if I make like a little glass sunset, I'll put with the sea with the sea, I'll make the dolphin jumping up out of the water. And I'm just, you don't even have to use a paintbrush. And it's actually kind of better. I don't know if that's too little for you to see. It's not totally blue all over. I let some of it white. It looks super cool that way. But you gotta let those dry the whole way. Jamie, how are you? Hi there, thanks for the rose. So wait, just wait, because I have even cuter ones. Like, dolphins are super cute. I was just watching a TikTok, honey, where mm -hmm. these dolphins, they were coming up, there was a cat on the boat, and the dolphins were playing with the cat. Have, has anybody seen that TikTok? And um, it was like a tour group, and I put a comment on there. <laughs> Mark Twain had said, that dolphins were the kittens of the sea. Is that, is that Katie and that says true. she's making paper rolls for a, a bowl? Excellent. <clears throat> Excellent. Those bowls are so fun. These little dolphins are going to be cute. I might put a little grey on them too. The was it no the other week there was a video of it? It was something like, I think it was a dog fell overboard on a boat. Right. And it was dolphins that were swimming near the boat actually, like, went under the dog and, like, lifted the dog back to the oh. boat so they could lift it back on board. That's lovely. <clears throat> I didn't see that. What is your favorite thing to watch on TikToks? What do you watch? I get sucked in with craft stuff, art and craft stuff, food stuff, pet stuff. That's kind of how my feed is. And sometimes, like, weird house stuff, too. What are you into? ASMR and the cats. Same. <laughs> I love it. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and... Where's my tip? Here. Sweet. Something is making paper rolls right now. My Yay. Glasses. The paper rolls are so fun. I'm going to find my pink... And these little dolphins, see all these little dolphins? They will dry so quick. And I'm just going to kind of flip them around. Yeah, no llama. It hurt. It still hurts. And it feels hot. Sarah's crafts and cooking, crafts funny videos. <coughs> or your actual favorite creator. Animals, homesteads, live musicians, chefs. Yes, to Lily, yes. Everybody's making paper quills. <laughs> the paper quills are the paper quills are so fun. They're so versatile. I can get some French magazines while I'm over there and make some French ones. I 
think, maybe. High T. Okay. So, I have those. I have pink. Um, I w got an ear exam yesterday. I thought I might have had an ear infection here. I did not want to get on the plane with an ear infection. But when the doctor looked in this area, <laughs> in this air, <laughs> ear, <laughs> thanks, Cambria, he stuck that, you know, that thing with the tip on it? He stuck it way in, and it hurt, and it actually hit something. And it is hot. This side is hot. This side is not. I think tomorrow I might have to go back into the doctor. Probably just not there. <laughs> I just had some after dinner with, with my coffee, the shortbread. Oh, the shortbread. Good. Oh, the shortbread. Okay, I have another punch here that is super duper 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 cute. Paula wants to make picture frames with the paper things. Oh yeah, they look super cute Ideal. like that. I, I jerked. I, I didn't scream, but he knew that it hurt me because when he came to the other side, he said, your ears are very flexible. He said, I won't, I won't put this one in that far. And he didn't poke it, so. I just don't want, I don't want to have messed up ears flying, getting on a plane for eight hours. That would not be fun. So I'm trimming up this. This is my kiln paper, kiln shelf paper. So you can make cool things out of this. I'll save <clears throat> these little scraps. Um, I'm so afraid he ruptured my eardrum. It really, really hurt. And it's hot. I leave for France on Wednesday. He touched something because it hurts. And I'm kind of scared to go back in there. First of all, it was crowded with everybody sick. I had a mask on, but um, yeah, no, nothing has came out of it. But it it really hurts, and it's and it's hot. So I think yeah, something's up. I know. I think I'm gonna go to a different doctor tomorrow. I don't know who. Maybe just to the hospital. I hate to go, I hate to go to the hospital. Like there, I think there we have a $50 deductible. And if you go to the hospital, it's $250 deductible, which is, and then your copay. Urgent care is where it happened at. It was a physician's assistant. I was telling somebody about it earlier. Stephanie's ordered and, a mushroom um, Oh, awesome. The, um, I was telling Erica about it earlier, and Erica said her mom used to say when she went to a physician's assistant, do I get to pay half price since you're not a doctor yet? <laughs> I thought that was a good one. <laughs> I am feeling okay. I had... You know how they stick something like this in your ear to look in your ear? So this ear, they said, um, is not infected. My other ear, he said he looked clear. But um, he poked the thing in so far, it touched something and really hurt something. And that, my ear is super, um, super hot now if a ruptured eardrum. Oh, the other thing too, it's like made me kind of semi-dizzy. And it's almost like a, you know, like a roaring in your ear, kind of like if you hold a seashell oh, up. Moved wax. So Morton says he moved wax around. I don't think that's the case. I think he poked something really hard and hurt it. <laughs> so these are little piggies. These are little piggies. I'll go in tomorrow. Oh. It's annoying. It is annoying. I got too much stuff to do to be messing around with my ears. The other, it's not that the other ears clog now. It just like keeps popping like open and shut. And he said that was these tubes from my congestion. So annoying. <laughs> annoying. Okay, pink paint. They're asking about tools. I'm not sure what tools. Tools for this? 
these That's are just, just paper punches. Yeah, these are just paper punches. It's a little piggy. <clears throat> this little piggy got paper punched. And now he's getting painted pink with, um, oh, and I might put little wings on this pig. So he's a flying pig. I know. It's like, come on. I don't have time to be sick or have a, I just didn't want to fly with ears or with an ear that was like popping. So I always put little wings on these. I'll show you how I make the little wings. They're going inside fused glass pieces. Yeah, I'll fuse them between. I don't have anything like it, but when I do the fused glass, um, it has to be like a layer of whatever color, and then I'll put my paper and then clear glass on top. So they're going to be fused glass, just different things. Why is this one not coming out? Annoying. I have these little sticks here. Flying with an infected ear. Yep, that's Miss Vicky. That's why I went and had my ears checked because I wanted to make sure this wasn't an infection. He said my ears looked great. He just stuck that thing too far in that one. So, this I'm just taking this lid, grabbing some pink here on here, and now we will paint the pig pink. Painting the piggy pink. <laughs> Painting the piggy pink. And this stuff dries super quick. And I don't like to get it a solid all over. I'll show you here how I do it. Like I kind of rough it up a little bit and then just let that side dry. And then I'll flip it over and do the back side too. Sometimes, if I if I know, like, these little pigs, too, are cute, like, if I'm making a little farm scene, they look good on that. Yeah, we got an ear cleaning kit that's basically Daybrook's. It was a doctor or somebody or others, and it came with aerosol of the Yeah, I did and that already. It, that didn't really help. It did nothing. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. My dad had this saying, it'll be better before you're married. <laughs> and then after I got married, my dad would say, it'll be better before you're married again. <laughs> it was his little hoot. Oh, heart me, so thank you. Who sent it? Marianne. Oh, Marianne's number 191 on the team. No, I've got loads of projects when she's in France. And our daughter and granddaughter are coming up. That'll be fun. Oh, Marlon's number 191 member on the team. Thank you. I just said Did you? that. <laughs> I must be deaf. <laughs> oh, oh, Martin, if, with your ears and if my ears go, what will we do? <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll sit around just saying, eh, eh, to each other. I'm going to turn these into yeah. little, little piggies that fly. Daughter and uh, granddaughter. <clears throat> yeah, they're coming for a visit. That'll be fun. They were, family were talking about coming up for skiing, but um, snow's all melted. It's got warm. Skiing's not a thing just now. <laughs> yeah, Morton was just confirming. That's all. Yep, Florida. We just have the one daughter. We always say we have the best daughter and the best son because we got one of each. So works out handy that way. I'm just painting these little pigs. Honey, oh mm -hmm. my gosh. I saw a TikTok with this lady who rescued this little po This It's a mini horse. It lives in her house. Babe, it was super mini, so cute. Her like, 
her pug was basically the same size of the horse. Mm. That's the size church horse I need, honey. Yeah, you're not getting a church horse. <sighs> I'm not cleaning up horse poo for a month. You can train them. My, I used to bring my ponies inside the house all the time. And the ponies never pooped in the house. My parents were not there when I did this. But I would like let my ponies sit on the sofa. I would get Cheerios out of the cupboard and I would feed them Cheerios out of bowls. Oh my gosh, that made me so happy. Priscilla, thank you, Priscilla. We got your SASE envelope today. Morton's gonna fill them up and put them in the mail tomorrow. Thanks so much, Priscilla. Hey, Laura. I was very naughty and I would do that. If my parents would go away, I'm like, uh, yeah, he's like, I'm not cleaning up after that. But um, the, um, <clears throat> if my parents were going somewhere and I could stay home, I always took that as the cue to bring the ponies inside. Mm, they went out in the post too, that's weird. Still waiting on your heartstone. B, that is super weird. Send me a message and I'll look up the, um, I'll look up the, they all have tracking numbers on them. Send me a message and I'll look it up and we'll track it down. That's very weird. Painting the pink pigs. So whenever you see me doing, um, fuse glass and I'm doing things like just grabbing little, the little, like the little frogs that we used last for Hall the Halloween stuff last year. Like it's super fiddly and it takes time, but it's so worth it. These little pink pigs. Talker the talkie and a high bear, thank you. Thanks Priscilla. After, um, after the paint has dried, I'll put these pigs in a little container and I don't have a punch to cut out the wings, but I do like to make the flying pigs, some flying pigs. So I'll show you how I do that. I'm gonna put the lid back on here. I had to dip down in here. My favorite vegetable, ooh, I love broccoli. Oh, zucchini, squash. That's my favorite, without a doubt. What's your thing? Oh, no, that's a good one. Sweet potato, maybe. You like Brussels sprouts mm. a lot. We both like Brussels sprouts. We are going to have a massive garden this year. Oh, asparagus. Love asparagus. How are you going to do that when you're traveling all the time? I'm not traveling all the time. It's going to be a nature-helping garden, too. <laughs> <coughs> Jamie, thank you. So now, to make the little pig wings, I need favorite one, food. two, three, four, five. Everybody say your favorite food. Mine is uh, anything Italian, anything Chinese, anything Japanese. I, I love all kinds <clears throat> of food. Mine's seafood, because when I see it, I'll just eat it. <laughs> More Emma's face. Oh, God. Avocados are good. Martin. <laughs> seafood. When I see food, I eat it. My dad used to tell that joke. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to take... We're going to make some little pig wings. <laughs> oh, fish and chips. You like that, Martin? I do love the Asian stuff, yeah. Mediterranean, yes. Mexican, yes. Jerry clams for mass. Nice. Seafood is so good. So I'm going to take this and look. See that little wing? That's the little wing I'm going to put on my piggy. But I'm going to take... We had yeah. crawfish when we were down in the Bahamas, and when they said we were getting a crawfish, I was expecting, like, I've seen them in the, like, the Chinese restaurant, and they're always, like, tiny shrimps, and there's a lot of work, but these ones, it was like a crawfish, like, how would you describe that? Like it, a crawfish it, it was like a stew kind of thing. Have you ever had conch salad? It was like that. It was not cooked. 
It was good. Nope. It was warm. Nope. That was cold. I'll do a poll in the family group and you can see. Because I thought they do that like the conch salad. <clears throat> and um, they put, wait, you're right. It was warm and you that had it was with the rice. There was a conch salad too. Oh, yeah, it was cold. And that was cold. Yes. But yeah, it was all shelled and everything. And it was There's with, with rice wing. and everything. It was brilliant. <laughs> There's the little wing for the flying pig. And now I could take just now and glue this on them if I wanted oh, to. Oh, cheesecake's good. Yeah, the crawfish down in the Bahamas was really good. But I'm not sure if it was the tiny crawfish or like the ones that are, like what they call crawfish, I think they're like little lobsters. So there's my little flying pig. <laughs> Can you see my little flying pig? What was that cheesecake place in New York you took me to? Junior's. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. Junior's. You don't have to paint the wing. No, the wing's white. white. Wing's going to be Julie. white. Hi, E. So that's why I always save all these little pieces because you can just really use them for making your art. This one's going to get... I'm just... Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just feathering in some feathers for his wing. Of course they've got good pizza where we live. I make it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I watch that Jess's aggressive tutorials. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> of course it's good. I made it. It's, she is so sweet. Oh, I love her. She's so funny. I love her. So this little pig, he's, he's gonna be flying too. That little pig, he has a big wing. He has a big wing, that's good. You gotta be able to see their wings. <sighs> yeah, Chicago deep dish ones are Triple good. chocolate raspberry cheesecake. I brought Morton home a Chicago deep dish I was flying home from Chicago. And I got him um, a Hi, pizza. Amelia. I got two pizzas in the airport to go two small pizzas, carried them on the plane, one for Martin, one for Jimmy. And I, in the plane, everybody was like looking at me when I came in because I had the pizza bag. I put it up in the overhead because I'm like, oh, it won't smell so much if I put it up there. Wrong. The whole cabin smelled like deep dish pizza the whole way. <laughs> the whole way from mm -hmm. Chicago. And about probably an hour before we got before the plane got to Harrisburg, I'm thinking, I'm starving. I'm just going to eat that pizza and I'm going to eat one and then I'll tell the guys I got you one to split. But I didn't, did I? I gave you each one. <laughs> I don't know, I remember. Jimmy probably ate it before I got No, before. you had it when you came home from work. <clears throat> <sighs> Oh, thanks, Thank Amelia. You. Thanks, Celia. You is it? Is it? Julia. That's beautiful. Thank you. Gorgeous, gorgeous name. Okay, so we have two little pigs with wings, three little pigs without. I'm gonna put wings on the other ones. Yeah, tell them about um, your trip to Portugal with your sister so, and the, the donuts for the family. So they weren't necessarily family donuts. <coughs> we were in Portugal. There was a whole bunch of us there, staying at this house. There was we were in we were oh, we sorry were to hear somewhere that, Rebecca. where there was there was nowhere there was nobody there. I mean nobody there that spoke English. But there was this great little bakery. They made these Portuguese donuts. So. Um, Mort, or Morton and I, my sister and I, stop in there on the way back from seeing this beautiful church. It, well, it wasn't a church, actually. It was like a, what is it? The, oh, um, not Knights, the, the Knights Templar. It was this big Knights Templar thing, this humongous thing. So we stop in there. My sister buys all these Portuguese donuts they had left, all of them. And so it was like three boxes, I think, three big boxes. 
And it was almost their closing time, so it wasn't just greed, but it was greed because we were going home. They were making dinner at home, and her and I started to eat this one box of donuts. Well, Portuguese donuts are about, they're about the size of a golf ball. They're super light and delicious. So um, her and I started eating them, and we were at the road where you turn to go back into the house, or this other road we had never been down. And I'm like, let's drive up here and see what's here so we can finish these donuts. We go driving around this beautiful, beautiful back road. It took us high up on this mountain. We sat there, finished the rest of the donuts, then came back all the way back to the house. Bye, Priscilla. Cheerio. And um, we get back to the house and we go in and there's dinner <coughs> done. Neither of us were hungry because we had just eaten a box of donuts. And we're like, we brought dessert. But we just, we pretended like we were eating food. It was naughty. But those donuts were so good. And the thing I like about cutting wings like this, each one will be different. Sure, it's your saying good evening. Good evening. And well, that would be I like nice to see Oklahoma. I like to make the wings just like a little wing, a little curve on it. Put it up to the pig. Look at the size. That's a really big, big wing for that pig. Hi, Jackie. I'm I'm gonna leave the other ones because I want to show you some well, other stuff. In Tennessee. Hello. <coughs> So these I'm painting with different kinds of paint. Um, Morton, what? Oh. how do we make the paint? Mix a uh, aloe vera with powdered glass. That's how we do it. I have this butterfly punch. I'm going to use the butterfly punch and then I got to trim out. And I like to waste as oh, little it's Lewis. as possible. Hi there, Lewis. You hard at work? <laughs> Hi, Lewis. Happy New Year to you, Lewis. Lewis, is the place still running? It will be. He's in charge now. Ooh, go, Lewis. <clears throat> I'm going to punch out some butterflies. We're gonna make some butterflies. And the butterflies are really fun because I can paint these. Lewis, I feel like I know you. And Lewis, I feel like I know all the guys that work there. <laughs> From all of Martin's tales. Don't I, honey? Mm -hmm. Martin hardly ever talks about it anymore. Stained glass light bulb TikTok. That's cool. There's so many cool things out there to make and do and oh. But these these are these butterflies here that I'm doing, they're kind of my favorite ones to do because you can Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> you can <clears throat> um oh. Julio's on too. Hi there. Oh. <laughs> Happy New Year, Julio. I saw you clearing the snow last week on your videos and looking cool in the trailers. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will have to come up and visit sometime. Yeah. They're too busy working. That's probably true. <clears throat> Hi, this and that. Yeah, I used to work with the guys. They could probably tell us some really good Morton stories. Yes. Yeah. Couldn't you, guys? <laughs> we would like to hear the Morton stories. <laughs> Wouldn't we, honey? I'll have to have a look. He says there's a, 
I saw one wool loose when they were clearing the snow. There must be a new one. I'll have to have a look for that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough butterflies for just now. But really, can you ever have enough butterflies? I don't think so. So I'm gonna get, get our little dolphins out of the way. We got, tonight we did dolphins, we did pigs, now we're doing butterflies. So the butterflies, I'm gonna base paint them with yellow on both sides and then I can put more decorations on them. Where'd he go? There he is. I'm gonna start with yellow and hopefully the yellow will come out. Not wanting to come out. Cindy's got a butterfly to do. Oh, that's cool. Follow us on Facebook. Not able to comment. Terry, other people have said that too. Uh, I think it's send me a friend request on Facebook. Send me a friend request on there. It's weird. <coughs> and oh, I got up at 4.30 this morning, which means tomorrow morning, what time will I wake up, honey? I don't know. 4 a.m. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up at 4 a.m. tomorrow. I'm trying to get set for France time. This is really gunky in this lid. So this is dried powder glass. Yellow glass we ground up and um, put aloe vera in it. No, I'm a drama. I was up looking on TikTok at 4 a.m. Yeah, and I have been going to bed early, haven't I, honey? Mm -hmm. I just want to get set to, to French time. Tomorrow, um, or tonight, rather, I'm going to go to sleep about 8 tonight. <laughs> Off to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. That'll be fun. I'm just squishing this around. This paint's super thick. It'll be fine. Was it Hobby Lobby used to have the good discounts and they didn't do them mm -hmm. anymore? I'm gonna put this stuff on and let it dry. Then I'll put other other paint color on. Pardon me. This is a little, it's kind of like a little cheating way this way, but it's a good cheat. <laughs> you can get a lot of detail. See the butterflies. I'll let them dry. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. When the paint gets gunky like this, I will typically put a couple drops of aloe vera in here. Uh, I will, I will, it's eight hours ahead, Francis. So. Six, is it not? Oh yeah, six. Sorry, six, 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 six. So um, I'm waking up a half an hour earlier each day. And in the morning I wake up at four. I should maybe wake up at four o'clock and go into the emergency room about my ear. <laughs> Nobody should be in there then, right? You would think. Oh no, on a Saturday night, people go to the emergency room. I think. <laughs> Hopefully I wake up tomorrow and it feels better. Now I have the, oh, that's so much better. The yellow is just coming out really nice just now. And some Jill of, just finished the book today. Did she, Jill? What book? Which one? Little Changes is really, really, really long. How I Met My Martin is 10 chapters. 10 chapters of pure love. <laughs> Paula says somebody hit the like button for me while I'm making the quills. <laughs> it's okay. How I met my Martin. How I met my Martin. Did you like it? The doctor reckon it's blocked from the cold. The little tubes inside her ear are like residual There's a name blockages for it. For, from when she had the the flu. 
and but when he went to check her ear, he, ear. the probe, he shoved it in her ear a bit too far. Oh, it hurt. Hurt. Anyway, a friend request on Facebook. Oh, oh, just go to me personally. Priscilla Holliston on Facebook. Yeah, the 1870 studio, though, and if you're in the 1870 group, everybody can comment in there. That's weird. Jill, you loved it. Yay! <coughs> Yay, yes. I 100% was not looking for a Morton when I found a Morton. That, they tried Priscilla too. That's so weird. Um, um, see if you can just send me a message in there. Yeah, I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna oh, try to get it taken care of. Honey, why are you so burpy tonight? Because the men's at that is the right. Really? Morton has digestive Stop issues. Stop vegetating men's. Remember I did that with him. Made the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Martin can't take vegeta vegetarian ground, fake ground beef. Yeah, we've got liquid ear drops. Yeah, it just didn't work. And now this ear, oh. I should have, I should have like went right back in yesterday. But I had already sat in that waiting room for like three hours. Oh, that had a little bit of pink come out on it, too. That's pretty. That one will be gorgeous. Yeah, Morton. Morton gets the burpy burpees. How about that sunset tonight? See, it was the urgent care place I went to. And I'm scared if I go back in. Like, I don't want them to think that I'm complaining or whatever. Yeah, well, our surgery, the odds of getting a, an appointment with your own doctor's like flying to the moon. So they t send you, you've got to go to the urgent care. And if the urgent care can't take care of it, you have to go to the ER. And it's like $25 copy at the doctor's office, $50 at urgent care, and two hundred dollars if you go to the ER. Is it two hundred or two fifty? Yeah, two hundred. <clears throat> I think I'll call them tomorrow and tell them these are going to go in fused glass. Yes, yes. your eighteen seventy page on Facebook is set up for people, people to follow, to follow you, not, you, as, not a as a personal friend. Page. Oh, on on Facebook, that's weird. So go in the group. Go in the eighteen seventy studio group. <laughs> the link for that's in our bio here. Uh, what's that? I see and then we say. can talk. We can talk all day. Is the blue bowl down? Nope. The blue bowl. I have not Go. been doing on the blue bowl because um, the kiln's been busy with the hearts, all the hearts. <laughs> and I don't know that I'm going to get a chance to do the blue bowl before I go. I should though. Um, I should do that. So now I have all this powdered glass on my fingers. I'm just going to go like this. But look at all these little cuties. And the, so like on this past Sunday, um, when Tracy and her friends were here, they had these little green frogs that they could use. But I want to have like these. Look, I'll, I'll show you the rest of the things I have. I have a little Scotty dog. I'm gonna leave some of these white, and then some of these I'm gonna do black, the little Scotty dogs. And then these bugs are super fun. Um, there's dragonflies, and there's little ants, but the dragonflies really are the only ones that I use. And then there's this little fellow, which this little fellow, I'm gonna make, um, Thanks for the heart, me, Brady. How are ya? I'm gonna make little flowers that are different little colors and put a little dot of a different color in the center to make little fused glass flowers for these. I'm gonna set this over here. We're gonna let these dry and I'll give you the show again. 
Oh, and I also have, um, I have the little star punch, which is really fun to use. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jackie Lil. Yeah, that's how the shamrocks were done too as well. No. Oh no, the shamrocks, they were The uh, shamrocks were murini. But you have a shamrock one somewhere. Is I don't. You know? mm -hmm. I thought we did. No, I should have. <clears throat> so, um, the fused glass, I'm going to turn this light down. Oh, you just got a ginger doop, man. Doop, 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 doop. The fused glass. These are ones going to um, France. That one is um, like cherry blossom tree. That's actually down pretty low. That's a little better. Cherry blossom tree. I might have a frog in one of these. I'm gonna do one with a frog in it. I'll do one with a little flying pig in it. Uh, <laughs> this, I love how this one looks. This one has like little jagged edges, but I, I ground them and I love that because I these are like complicated hearts and I think a heart that's a little rough around the edges is a good thing. It shows you've been living. Shows you've been living. That one. <laughs> Brent, I'm happy you're here. That one has dichroic glass in it. And I'm doing these in different sizes. And my plan, now I don't know how the chateau is gonna be laid out <clears throat> or set up, but I'm hoping I'm gonna have these that I can just spread out like on a little piece of something on a table and just invite people to choose one if they want to have one. Like I'm not going to force them and I won't just go up like more and pretend you're an artist. Hi, what do you do? Absolutely amazing artwork, dear. <laughs> Is that how I sound? <laughs> no, it's how I, uh, I'm <laughs> not going to say anything because I'll just get Martin, shot down in football. Martin, what? pretend you're an artist. Pretend you're just meeting me. This is how Martin and I had to meet online. What? Um, hi, what do you make? What? I, <laughs> I make self adhesive labels, dear. I'm not an artist. You are an artist. You know the Pantone colors. Anyway, I made these. You get to pick one out. What would you like? Oh, took a little piece of my heart. <laughs> oh, Martin. Martin thinks I'm a crazy artist. No, I don't think. <laughs> he knows. It is true. It's sort of like a blanket coverall. Um, when people look around, if they think I'm weird, I can just say, I'm an artist. <laughs> Martin is a paid actor. <laughs> I love it. I love that one. That one has a little bird in it. Look at, see the little bird? There's a little birdie in that one, honey. Not only followed you on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks. And I have my problems sorted with these lives. This live is gonna go up on our YouTube channel tonight. Yeah, you know what the end of that phrase is, Jackie? Master of none. <laughs> Honey, you, Morton is so, Morton was out chainsawing today. Morton's amazing. I like that one a lot. And these, the complicated hearts, they look so different on each side. I love them. There's a little um, Easter egg for someone. I think I'm gonna do some circles too and do some that look like globes. All the different colors. I'll tell you what, there is some cool stuff in the kiln just now fusing. Morton and I do argue. We don't ever, I think we've had this many what I would call fight in our life, maybe, but they weren't even like a fight. Mm -hmm. This is how it went. We lived in Scotland. I was homesick for America, my family, and I would say to Morton, I want to go home. And Martin would say, you're not leaving. And that was the extent, I think, mm -hmm. don't you? 
Morton, <clears throat> Morton was always, whenever that would happen, that I would get over my homesickness. And then eventually um, our daughter and our son moved over to Scotland. And then I'm like, I can just stay here forever now. And I would have. We would have stayed there forever. This one hangs up. What's that? That's a, no, it's a piece of the paper stuff. Yeah, it? it's a little cross. There's a little cross fused in there. Uh, question about your magazine. Paper art. Do you seal the coils? Yes. I seal them with this. You seal them with whatever you want to. Um, I've, I do voiceovers for some things. Never, um, never anything big, but I'm, when I get back from um, France, up in the studio, I want to I want to put a recording booth up there because I want to read the books that I've written and um, I want them to um, sound good. <laughs> and I would love to do voiceover stuff. So, will you paint cherry blossoms on Heart One? No, this one has cherry blossoms in it. I don't know if you can see them. That one is loaded with little pink cherry blossoms. Yeah, the PVA glue when it dries <sighs> is pretty much water resistant. That's the stuff when your kids are playing with it. If you didn't wash it off straight away, it'll ruin their clothes. This is a little weirdo heart, but I love it. It's just a little weirdo heart. Yeah, it gives it a nice and shiny then finish. This is the blue <clears throat> this is the blue and white stripey one that I saved. I mean that I did ages mm. ages ago now, a couple days ago. I've lost all track of time. What is today? Friday? It is Friday. Um, do you like living here? In this, in this church, I love living here. I don't sleep good other places. I'm nervous when I go to France that I'm not going to be able to sleep at night. First, because of the low ceiling. And second, because... This place is so quiet. How quiet is mm -hmm. it? It is like uh, as quiet as a tomb in here. The church doesn't creak or moan. There's no noise in here at night. Um, you could put a small hole in them for, for hanging. You can drill a hole in them. Or you can put um, like a little hanger. See the little metal hanger that's on there? Can you see that? What is it? It's a piece of chalk that. or something you use to make the hole, um, isn't it? I'm not visiting family in France. I got a one-month artist residency at a chateau. Chateau Orquava. Orquavo? Orquava? Bon. Orquavo. Chateau Orquavo. <clears throat> about three hours east of Paris. And I did hear, um, I did hear somebody snoring in here once. But I think we basically just have church fairies and church angels and church miracles that do good stuff in here, <laughs> like find stuff for us. <laughs> but um, yeah, for a, it was funny last night because my son was like, Mom, why are you doing this thing in France? What's it all about? Because, <laughs> Tracy, thank you. I'm not going to learn anything. It's not workshops, although they do have one... They have one talk about working with galleries. Um, they have another talk that's kind of like a writer's thing. But there are people, there are artists and crafters. I'm definitely doing lives there. The chateau has Wi-Fi. And um, so I will definitely. Now my studio is just gonna be in my, in my bedroom. I'm staying in the chateau. But they do like all your meals, all your cleaning, all that stuff for you. So you can just go there and create. You're only just there for creating and connecting with other artists. And I'm so excited. The group of people that are going to be there. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. I'm looking at all their other stuff on, um, we're all connected on Instagram. And yeah, the food's going to be insane. I know that already. I've stayed in France before and the food is is great. And then last night, something really neat happened. I got an email um, from a lady called um, Murray Agnes. Now, I will call her a girl because I will always think of her as a girl. 
About what year was it, honey? <clears throat> 2004? I think in 2004, she came and stayed with us in Scotland for two months. She's amazing. She lives in a place called, is it Nantes? No, not yeah. Um, where Jules Verne was born. Sadly, she's in the west. She's more towards the southwest of France. So I'm going to be about six and a half hours away. So I won't get to see her. But she's like, I saw on Facebook you're going to France. Please tell me you're going to come visit. I would love to go visit her. Oh, if you were going with me, we oh, would no, go no. visit her. <laughs> um, I would love her to come visit us too. But... But it was great. She was coming. She came over and stayed with us when we lived in Scotland. Um, she wanted. What did she want to learn how to do? It was a paper lace stuff. Wasn't it? Paper lace stuff that I did in Scotland. I haven't showed you the paper lace stuff. We're married 21 years on Valentine's Day. We've was been it together because she did stuff with yeah. paper. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's what it was. It was that paper lace working that I did. Um, <clears throat> I'll have to show you that someday. It's super fun. You do it with parchment paper, like thick parchment paper. Yeah, you make lace out of it. It's really cool. I have a, she did a paper frame for me and put a picture of me that she took. We were out um, with a field of ponies, petting these ponies. <laughs> and she took a picture of me and, and printed it out with um, a paper lace frame that she had made. So... Oh, it's your anniversary too. Great, 14 years. Morton picked the date. Morton picked the wedding date. His mom's birthday was February 14th. And um, Morton is uh, February 19th. And he did not want to get married on his birthday. But we hate Her Majesty. Morton and I were working seven days a week. We did not have days off. So we basically got married and went to work. <laughs> we didn't have a honeymoon. Well, we did have a honeymoon like a couple weeks later. Is that we went to a trade show. No, it's not resin. These are um, these are fused glass. They're made out of glass. And then they're fused in a kiln for um, a long time, like 14 hours. I'll turn that up, make it a little brighter. But and tonight, this is tonight for fused glass Friday because I already have um, my. They got married during the lunch hour. Yep, <laughs> Morton wore his kilt, and I wore I wore a dress. Morton looked great, and <clears throat> I had one dress in my wardrobe at the time. Mm. Paula's been and married twenty one years too on Valentine's Day. That's so great, Paula. We were together two years before we got married. I met Martin in 2001, mm -hmm. and we got married in 2003. It seems, it's so weird. I can't think of life before Martin. Whenever I talk about, because Martin, you, Martin's been like all of our, we've had a lot of living together. We've had a lot of things happen. I don't remember a time before Martin. <laughs> Yeah, the blue and white ones are pretty. February 28th, they're married 26 years. That's awesome. I'm going to I'm going to make up um Morton doesn't want to renew vows. I want to because we got married in Scotland and so none of my family were there. I would love to. Oh, right, I'll look at um, it as if you didn't if you didn't mean it the first time. Honey, that's not <laughs> what it's about. Renewing the vows has anybody ever done a vow renewal or have you been to one like i think it's like saying like i love you so much i would do everything all over again that's what i would like to do and i would like to really just have a party with all our friends oh my gosh Catherine, she did it and then got divorced the next year <laughs> Maybe we better not do it then. <clears throat> Morton, al Morton always says, I meant it the first time. So it would be great to have here, but I see, like, the only weddings I see happening here or stuff like that is, like, the family, you know. Kathleen was married 41 years too. Wow, that's wild. Well, we had, um, 
But we've had people ask if they could get married here. And I'm like, do you know how much stuff I would have to move? <laughs> we And we could move it all. We could move it all. I would do it if it was like, you know, one of our granddaughters mm -hmm. or uh, grandson. Never, ever renew your vows. Um, Morton, Morton does have, he does make a good point. I would rather um, just get together and have a party. <clears throat> Yeah, an anniversary party. Yep. Yep. That's the thing. Tiny Island Catholic Church in St. Lucia. That's lovely. It is. Rx, that sounds really lovely. Um, but honey, it's seven oh six and I have to I'm going to bed at eight o'clock tonight. So I gotta go brush my teeth and do my nighttime routine. I'm trying to get set on French time. I'm waking up at 4 a.m. tomorrow. I will be quiet and silent until it's time to wake him up at 9.30. And I have downloaded, or have gotten so many pictures off of my phone that I can now download my TikTok lives again. Yay. And yeah, I might wake up at 4 a.m. and sneak off to the hospital, get my ear checked out. If it's still hot, it's definitely hot. And hot means infection, so um, yeah. I leave for France on Wednesday. So what is this Friday? Monday, Tuesday. Five more sleeps. Five more sleeps. <laughs> yeah, the photo domes. Oh my gosh, I have thousands of there. Yeah, I was, it, it's just like, it's not doing it just now. At certain times it'll just make like a whoosh, whoosh kind of noise. So, and I did get dizzy earlier today and I know it was, down to my ears, so yeah. All right. Well, thanks for hanging Chill. out, everybody, and thank <clears throat> you for um, um, joining us. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing how this part of glass fusing happens, and all the cool stuff that you can make when you do that sort of thing. Have a lovely, lovely evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Chill. Night, night. Thanks for being here. Bye, bye.